All right, so I finally got the adhesion that was on the display. Um, it had quite a bit of black sticky stuff that was on there, double-sided, strong tape. Um, thought I was going to damage the board, but uh, nope, it uh, finally came off. So at this point, uh, I need to convert this to a 5 volt beast instead of a 9 volt. Uh, so I will be um, finding the Wikipedia, or at least the FAQ, on uh, Pseudomod and uh, converting this through somebody else's hard work and get it all set and squared away. I'm just looking on the site now. So this looks like it's a variant 7 and it is an easy one to do. So I'm just pulling up the uh, method here. So yes, I was correct and it looks like it is going to be going on to this pin right here. So I'm going to take a wire that I have here and I'm going to connect it here and straight across to that pin there. So we'll just go through and get this all soldered up and then we'll test it, make sure everything is good to go. Out of the way. So whenever you're soldering, you want to tin your pieces so that way when you solder, everything is good and stuck on there. So what you want to do is always leave yourself a lot of room, a lot of extra room when you solder. Um, so when you have extra wire like this and it's tinned, snip it and you have a perfectly flat cable every single time you wish to solder. So now it is time to marry these pieces together. It's always a Tetris puzzle on getting these pieces. Since this is already soldered on, I just have to solder this into place. Yeah, it looks like it needs a little bit more solder, which is fine. So we just made it a little extra solder on that piece. It's not a full connection that tickles my fancy. And then once you have it on there, should be a very strong hold. So now that we have it all there, we'll just trim this piece up to size and connect it up to the power here. Always leave yourself extra room. I use not the best method on stripping wire, aka my teeth, but it, it does the job pretty good. So once we know that we have enough cable here, a little extra, but that's quite all right. And it actually looks like we do have a full pin out but I'm still going to solder it to there. 
So now we just take this guy and we're going to solder the end, make it nice and pretty. If you guys could see this, that would also help. Huh? There we go. Yeah, and we got a little too much on there. So I'm just going to wipe it off a little. There we go. Snip it down to size. Solder it into place. And it looks like our main power cable came right off. But no matter, we can just put that guy back on. There we go. So we are set. And good to go. So that is how you make the variant seven a five volt instead of nine. Or let's see, sorry, twelve volt. So now we can basically start mounting things up into our case. And uh just got to warm up the hot glue gun to put it in place, and we should be good.